Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. What is going on everybody? I hope you're doing well. My name is Andy with Boatworks Today and before we jump into this video, I just want to remind everybody that this is part two of this fairing process. If you have not seen the part one, I will include a link for that right up in here. And with that said, let's just jump into it. So to bring everybody up to speed, this is the second coat of fairing that I laid down from the previous video. And to get started with the sanding process, I'm going to start out using this electric version of the longboards. Primarily because I want to save my shoulders for the real long boards a little bit later in this video. Now this particular electric sander that I'm using again is made by Flexi Sander. And as far as the, the dimensions on it, it's roughly 16 and a half inches long and almost 3 inches wide. So for getting the initial shape of this deck established, this is going to work out really, really well. Especially for this size area. And I'm, and I'm using 80 grit Abrinet sandpaper made by Mirka. If you don't know who they are, you should check them out. It's a little pricey, but... It works really, really well, and it lasts a long time. A lot longer than traditional sandpaper. So with the bulk of the sanding done using the power sander, now it's time to switch over to something a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Uh, this particular longboard, it's manually driven and affectionately called Brutus. <laughs> but, <laughs> but this particular board is roughly 33 inches long and almost 5 inches wide. So here again I'm using the same 80 grit uh, Abrinet sandpaper and this, this thing will give you a workout. This board does what it's supposed to do very well, but you will know the following day that you had a little bit of a workout at the gym. <laughs> So what I'm finding here is that the, the electric longboard actually got about 99% of all the shaping done. All I'm doing here is just te well, technically fine tuning with, with the longer board. Which is a little bit overkill because when this, project, when this part of the project is all said and done, this entire deck is most likely going to be all non-skid. And when you have that kind of texture up on a deck, you don't need to get the surface as perfectly fared in as what I'm doing here. It's just, I don't know, I got a couple of new toys and I wanted to give them a give them a run for their money just to see how well they actually work so um, it's a shoulder buster but again a little bit overkill but why not why not Okay, my shoulders told me that I was done sanding, so let's do a quick little cleanup and then I'll give you a zoom in shot of kind of how, how the surface actually looks. So as it turned out, I did not have any major dips or low spots on this deck. It was just a nice, even, continuous camber across this entire deck, which is nice. But I did have these little, little spots like this, which, yeah, that's not too bad, but there were probably 30 or 40 little spots like this. So rather than spending the time of trying to sand them out and removing a whole lot more material, which there isn't much on there right now, I'd say the, the total thickness of the fairing is it's less than an eighth of an inch at its thickest. 
So rather than spending a lot more time sanding, I'm just gonna mix up another small batch of, of thickened epoxy and fill these in. Now, before we can do that, I do wanna go through and I need to prep all of these areas because you can't lay epoxy over top of an area that has not been sanded at all. So we're gonna do a little bit of hand sanding and then we're gonna wipe these areas down with, actually this time it's gonna be acetone. One thing that I like to do just to make sure I don't accidentally miss a spot is to go ahead and circle them with a pencil. Don't use a marker or a pen, but pencil works perfectly fine. It's easy to see and it won't, you know, cause you any grief down the road. As long as I'm going to be mixing up another batch of thickened epoxy, I might as well go ahead and fare this area in as well. Now, if you, if you remember, this is the, the location where I used the, the Total Boat Thyxoflex, basically flexible epoxy uh, to go ahead and take care of these stress cracks. So if you have not seen that video, again, I'll put a little pop-up window in the top right corner and check it out. So speaking of thickened epoxy, here again, I'm gonna be using Total Fair made by Total Boat. Now, if you're interested, I will have a link down below in the description on a way that you can order this or any of the other Total Boat products. It is an affiliate link, so your purchase would help to support this channel. So if you decide to use it, I appreciate it very much and thank you. It is the following morning, so it's time to go ahead and do our final sanding to knock these uh, patches down. Now, since these spots are relatively small, I'm not going to bother you breaking out Brutus. Uh, I'm just going to take care of all of this with the electric sander. So there's still a little bit of hand sanding that needs to be done around the, the edges of this tow rail, but I could not find a very entertaining way to actually show a bunch of hand sanding. So I'll take care of that off camera. But overall, I would say that this deck turned out absolutely fantastic. If you, if you agree, hit that like button. Let me know what you think. And on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up so that we can move on to other things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you thought there was something I could have done a little bit differently, 
you know, I'd be kind of curious. There's a lot of people that watch this channel that also uh, work on boats for a living. So if you have any other constructive comments, please uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. And until next time, thank you for your time and thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.